Hi, it's me again in my backyard lab and I've got one last experiment to show you today before I quit filming and it's how to figure out your wilting point, your permanent wilting point and your water holding capacity. So I've got just a Tim Hortons cup and I'm measuring it. It doesn't weigh a lot, um, about 10 grams. I'm going to add 150 milliliters of water and in theory 150 milliliters of water should weigh 150 grams. It actually seems to weigh oh 150 plus the 10 of the cup. Perfect. <laughs> With my 150 milliliters in here I'm going to mark how far the water level is. You could use this a pen or a pencil I'm actually using a screwdriver to just scrape along the sides and mark it that way. I found a pen just doesn't work, it gets too wet. If you had a clear glass you could mark it on the outside. So then I'm going to pour that water out and as you can see it's a little dirty because this is like the third time I've tried filming this. My neighbors are noisy. And then I'm going to fill to that line with dirt. With soil. And again, I'm taking out the big chunks and I'm going to weigh that. So that weighs about the same as the water, a little bit more. You should be recording these weights, right? There's a chart that I gave you in the lab to record them. I'm just showing you how. And then I'm going to put water back in. Until it's fully saturated. You might have to put, I didn't put a piece of filter paper in the bottom because the hole I'm making is very fine. Oh, that didn't take a lot of water at all. I'm going to pour some of that out. That's too much. I'm going to weigh that again. So now I have the weight of the water and the weight of the soil. And that should tell me how much pore spaces there were in that soil. Because the water should be taking up that space where the air pores were. And then I'm going to get a system ready to drain. So this is my system. I've got my sieve in a bucket to catch the water. And I'm going to poke holes in the bottom of my cup. I'm just going to cover the bottom so that the water can filter out. And I didn't put a filter because I knew that my thumbtack holes would be fine. And now all I have to do is leave that. So the instructions, I think, leave it for two days and weigh it. And then I forget what the next time is. So read the instructions. This is just a quick uh, how to to get you started. But that's how you find out your wilting point and your water holding capacity for your radish soils.